One of the biggest paradigm shifts in my thinking, and also for a lot of people I know, has been learning about Bayes' rule. It's a simple mathematical formula that basically tells you how you should think about evidence. In other words, when you learn new information about the world or you make some new observation about the world, um, and that could be anything, a fact you read in a book, or you wake up and you observe that it's sunny outside, or you call your friend and she doesn't call you back, any new observation, how should that change what you believe is true about the world? And it's not like I go around plugging numbers into this formula all day. Um, it's more like having my brain steeped in Bayes has just qualitatively changed the way that I think uh, on a daily basis. So how has Bayes' rule changed the way I think? Well, first of all, it's made me a lot more aware that my beliefs are grayscale. They're not black and white. I have some level of confidence in all of my beliefs between zero and 100%. Um, I may not be consciously aware of it, but implicitly I have some sort of rough confidence level in my belief that my friend likes me or that it will rain tomorrow, etc. And it's not 0% and it's not 100%, it's somewhere in between. And more importantly, I'm more aware that that level of confidence should fluctuate over time as I learn new things about the world, as I make new observations. Um, and I think that the default approach that I used to have and that most people have towards the world is you have your beliefs, um, you're confident in them, and you pretty much stick to them until you're forced to change your beliefs if you see some evidence that absolutely can't be reconciled with them. But implicitly, the question you're asking yourself is, can I reconcile what I'm seeing or what I've learned, learned or heard? Can I reconcile that with what I believe to be true about the world? So, for example, say I have a belief that I'm a good driver. And say also that one day I get into a car accident. Um, the question that I would implicitly ask myself, um, you know, naively, would be, can I reconcile this observation that I got into a car accident with my belief that I'm a good driver? Sure, I can. Um, it was the other guy's fault. So uh, I don't have to change my belief that I'm a good driver um, after seeing the evidence that I got into a car accident. Um, but after sort of marinating in Bayes' rule for a while, you don't stop at the question, can I explain what I'm seeing while still keeping my beliefs the way they are, you go one step further and, and ask yourself the question, is what I'm seeing, is this evidence more consistent with my current beliefs or is it more consistent with some other theory? Um, in other words, is this evidence more likely under my theory, my belief, or is it more likely under another theory? So, you know, getting into a car accident, sure, it, it is possible it's if you're a good driver, um, but it's a little bit less likely if you're a good driver than if you're not. So that doesn't mean that after I get into a car accident I should conclude I'm definitely a bad driver, it just means I should be a little bit less confident that I'm a good driver if I've gotten into a car accident than if I haven't.